Ensure I am delighted to be here. I mean, I can't believe I'm seeing my YouTube. <laughs> hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamte. Today's video is a very interesting one. So, um, my guest here, she said she introduced herself um, later. Let me tell you a story. So, I remember some weeks back, I had a call from a mate of mine, like in school. Uh, we are mates in school, and um, he was telling me about a friend of his who. I uh, wanted to talk to me, so I, I was speaking with her and she was telling me how she had discovered my channel and she was telling her friend, that's my mate, about it and it was very interesting, I must say, so I I actually, after speaking with her that day, she, she actually made my day, I should say, because <laughs> it was a very interesting conversation we had on the phone and I decided I was going to have her here so we talk more about, you know, um, herself as well as um, how she discovered my channel and the rest. And, also going forward, I intend to host a lot more, you know, fans or subscribers, I should say, because um, most a lot of YouTube channels don't tend to do this. It's all about them and whatever they are doing. But I want to change it a little bit to include you out there as part of, you know, this channel because we are one family and we are doing this together. So um, I'm talking so much. Let me just allow her to introduce herself so we get going. So yeah, can you introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi guys, um, my name is Zoe Saba. Um, what else do you want to about me? <laughs> All right, so Zoe, uh, yes. I must say I'm so much excited to have you here. Like, it's sure I'm delighted to be here. I mean, I can't believe I'm seeing my YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, yeah. All right, so um, let's get straight into it. First of all, you we're talking before we started. Yes, I started this video. We're talking about like when you discovered my channel. And, what first video of mine did you watch? So if you could just share it to the viewers out there. What was the first video you watched? Um, so <clears throat> I discovered your channel during the whole pandemic okay. thing when we were at home and we had to stay at home for a while. So yeah. I'm doing a lot of YouTube browsing um, and all that. So see. I came across your first video was how to control data okay. on your MTN table net. Oh. At that time I had a table net at home. So I was like, hmm, funny, interesting. I'd never seen any video on that. So I was like, wow, who makes a video on this? <laughs> and I was curious. So um, I wanted to know more. how to also control data on my tablet. So I decided to watch the video. And it was very informative. You wow. know, I found a lot of insights that I didn't know about, wow. considering the fact that I'm not so techy. Oh. So I was like, wow, this is interesting. And I went to your page. And then I watched a video, and then I watched another video, and again and again. <laughs> wow! And I'm like, yeah. Wow! <laughs> wow! So wow, that's that's very interesting. So sometime just um, around April, yeah, till now, and March, April, April. yeah. Wow! Are you a tech person? Are you in, like is this some tech something that you're enthusiastic about? Or? Um, I think um becoming a tech in enthusiast yes oh. so before i didn't know much about tech I, I don't have a background in tech but you know now how the world is evolving yeah. you have to know wow you have to be techy so yes. i'm trying to learn as much as i can okay yeah okay. so what's your background actually for my so um i graduated last year okay. um with a bsc in marketing okay. from the university college of management studies oh okay yeah. Wow, and why? So, I'm you? currently working with an NGO called HAXA, Heritage yeah. and Cultural Society of Africa. Oh, okay. Yes, and I'm the assistant programs coordinator. Wow, so I'm sure you probably might be using some a bit of tech. Yes, to yes, we do. Right. So, that's why you know, how come I have to be you know, um, on my feet when it comes to tech? Wow, <laughs> wow. So, from what you said earlier, I mean, you've watched a couple of my videos. So, you let me ask which one particular video of mine. That happens to be your favorite. Like that's one of your best videos. Um, Tech-wise, I think what one of the vi the videos, the series episodes I watched was the one about Google and online. Is it Google Local Guides? Yes, Google Local Guides. Oh, okay. I I didn't know anything about that, so wow. I was like, wow, this existed in Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> People do this. Yeah. Was, it was very interesting to to know. Yeah. My favorite video I'd say um, is Adulthood is a Scam. <laughs> when I saw the title of that video, I think I just clicked it. I'm like, yes, this resonates with me. 
I was at that point in my life where I felt like I was so stressed. I mean, I finished school not long ago, yeah. and I was like, "Is this what adulthood is?" And the title was like, "Okay, wow, let me find out more about this video." And it was so. At that point, it was what I was going through. Yeah, yeah. I love that video. Yeah. <laughs> I really love that video. But I think from the conversation we're having, and yeah, you felt a bit disappointed because. From the beginning, the video was, I don't know this is calm. Yeah. It started so right. And all of a sudden, what do you think about this calm? The other side of, I don't know being this calm also comes yeah. out. By the way, so. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's one a very of, good video. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. It's one of those things that you know, happens in life sometimes. Yeah. Uh, things don't really go uh, the way we expect it to go in the rest. So, yeah. Anyway, so my next question then would be, are you an iOS person that's iPhone or Apple? Are you like an Apple person or are you an Android person? I have been an Android person, but because I did not know anything about iOS, so I actually bought an iPhone. <laughs> wow. So that I could also be vexed to you know, okay. know a bit about iOS as well. So I have both. So, yeah. so which one? But I think I prefer um, Android. <laughs> Why? It's simpler it's um easy to use mm -hmm. but i also feel like having knowledge about both is not bad so it's but true. i prefer uh, and, android uh, yes that's true so for me personally i happen to be also an android fan because i like the flexibility yeah. android gives you like you can't try so many things with android mm -hmm. but uh ios restricts you so yeah, much and tight yeah. people see a lot of security yeah, security is good but too much of it leaves whatever device it says like people don't really care to yeah, use it that much true. but anyway so that's just so 100 person yes 100%. no i guess sorry <laughs> <laughs> and um so when it comes to tech devices what are the tech devices that you personally use aside your phone i have a laptop okay. so i use a laptop um what else that's that's about headset. it. Oh, headsets, okay. earphones, earpiece. Watch, any yeah. type watch. Um, no, not yet. But I intend to probably get one so, of the smart watches. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Okay, so just um, so you mean your laptop, headset, and your phone? That's yes. tech stuff. That's oh. that's the only tech stuff I use. Okay, but are you looking forward to get any more? Yes, I am. I am. When the, when the cash comes. So what's <laughs> well, what's one of the uh, things on your like list that you intend to get in terms of tech wise? Um, I like to get a smartwatch, okay. and probably uh, I don't know. <laughs> I see. I mean, is would you classify a camera as? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 I'd yeah. love to well, have well, a camera. Yeah, I think you also <laughs> seen you intend to start a YouTube channel. So like yes, it's yes, one of the things you yes, want to definitely. start. I'd love to start a YouTube channel. I mean, seeing my YouTube sensation <laughs> here, <laughs> definitely would love to. I'm, I'm actually thinking of starting a YouTube channel that, very soon. So that would be very, I'll very need great. Cameras as well. Sure, sure. That would be very great. And I can't wait to see. Your channel also be sitting that watch and then and you feature my <laughs> channel. <laughs> yes, yes, that's very, very, very important. Yes, that's very yes. important. So, um, is there anything out there you like us to talk about or share? Think about something. Because I'm um, you're asking me what I'm passionate about. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Um, and I'd say I'm very passionate about community development. Okay. Um, I love to help people. I love to solve problems in society yeah hence me being a part of taking that path when i was in uni mm -hmm. i think i discovered that passion when i was in uni okay where i was part of a club mm -hmm. called inactus okay so what we did was try to find problems in our society yeah, and find solutions, find to, solutions them. to them and one of our projects we handled last year was um, providing six communities in Tamale okay. with a mobile tricycle ambulance. Oh, alright. So, yeah. And how did they go? It, it was it's awesome. I mean, what brought about that project? One of our teammates mm -hmm. was from Tamale, a, a village called Fushigu. Okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me, 
they had pregnant women they're dying a lot the aged used to die because the distance from their town to tamale itself the hospital, the okay. hospital was very, very far. far and probably if somebody was in labor at night how yeah, would they get there the roads yeah, were bad, bad yeah. they couldn't maneuver through the roads so a lot of mother and um, child mortality and mm -hmm. adult mortality as well so we found that we went to the community <clears throat> we conducted a needs assessment and we realized that this was their problem and yeah. their solution yeah, so yeah. we came back and then we talked about it well how can we help they needed an ambulance and you know the situation in ghana currently yeah, living yeah. without 300 plus ambulance, ambulance system <laughs> yeah. so there's no way they can even get some out That's there true. That's so true. what do we do we try to turn our tricycles mm -hmm. the motorbikes we yeah. made a tricycle ambulance mm -hmm. and then we donated to them so now they have a means of transport to, to the heart nearest hospital yeah so, wow yeah i think that's it's a very interesting like project to you guys but i would i'd really love to like maybe cover this problem yes about it's about ongoing it. i mean wow. now we are moving to six communities so wow. It's an ongoing project as wow. well. That's that's so touchful of you guys to thank you help out. You know, people out there. That's 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 very very great to yeah. to hear. Um, anything more? <laughs> anything more? Um, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. What else? <laughs> Should we talk about you? I mean, what's your passion? What inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Because there wow. are. A I mean, I'll say there are a few Ghanaians who are actually doing YouTube, yeah. doing well. Yeah. And I think you're one of them. So, wow. what, did, what motivated you to start a YouTube? Guys, channel? my head is getting very. <laughs> I'm, I'm blushing. I didn't know you can see it. So much in the well, um, so for me, you know, she's actually not interviewing me. Wow. Oh, That's no, 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 no. I just have a conversation. <laughs> okay, all right. So, um, the reason why I decided to start YouTube was um, first of all, um, some years back, I started by doing tutorials and starting tutorials was to help other people out there on how to go about a couple of things with a couple of tools I personally use but I realized aside that I wanted to do more so to share more about it the new things I find out challenges I've been like um, I've encountered and I was able to find solutions to and the rest so that was basically how I decided to start my channel so I started by wanting to share what I like to know especially the challenges because i realized that um there are certain tools that have come by that were a bit difficult to go about so there are no resources even though the information out there were not so much i also wanted to contribute to this information to make it easier for other people to go about um stuff like that so i was talking about um entrepreneurship so i like to share some of the things i've discovered and um, like to help other people to make their journey smooth one for them it shouldn't be that complicated always so now that's why I decided to start YouTube and it's, it's been fun sometimes it's just that sometimes I get a bit tired with so many things I have to do but I still try to you know make videos for my lovely people <laughs> yeah. out there so yeah and I think you're doing a very good job awesome so please keep it up don't don't stop doing videos don't stop making videos I'll try you are helping some of us <laughs> I'll try I'll try I'll try but I'm looking forward to your channel Actually, definitely one day soon. very soon <laughs> very soon yeah very soon so yeah what else now you're asking me questions so i like to know more questions um oh, so questions. where do you see yourself in the next i say five years with youtube so you know um the next five years that's uh i want to do so many things like i don't want to really um have myself just to you know, want them so by the next five years especially with youtube i want to be doing more content creation so i want to try other things so hopefully you'll be seeing a food channel from me <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah <Really>? yeah <laughs> it's one of the things i'm actually you know i like food yeah. i'm not able to eat that much but mm -hmm. I, I i'm a fan of your know, food and also um more entrepreneurship stuff um more you know small small tech stuff and uh, a lot more like i just want to do a lot more content creation probably i'll be doing a full-time youtube like releasing content almost every day as compared to now that i do mostly about like one video a week and so that's 
that's what I look forward to in the years to come. So I want to go mm-hmm. also with um, what I'm doing. I, I, there are lots of plans actually. So I just try my personal best to execute them bit by bit and then see where it's going to take me actually. Yeah. Okay, so how about as an entrepreneur, where do you see yourself, you know, in the next probably five to ten years? Hmm. That's a bit difficult to see, but like I was saying, I like to try so many things. I don't want to just restrict, my, restrict myself between just one particular thing. So, but wait, would you say into being an entrepreneur in Ghana <laughs> is difficult? Especially in Ghana. Depends. But I'll say yes. The reason being that, um, first off, it's a bit difficult trying to find yourself with whatever you want to do. And even after discovering that, how to go about it, Sometimes the resources you need to do that over here, it's a bit difficult to get access to resources like funds, information, mm-hmm. and even sometimes even registering a business and the rest. Now it's a bit okay compared to what it used to be sometime back, mm-hmm. but it's still a bit challenging over here for young people who want to um, tend to start their businesses. So it doesn't mean you should, you shouldn't like, you know, um, exactly. Yeah. But so those are some of the um, challenges you do come by. And me personally, like for me, starting off, I had to do so many things I had to like discover with myself. Like I, because of um, the field I happen to find myself in. And you know, most of these information, a lot of information are on the internet, but because we happen to be like say in Africa, mm-hmm. Ghana, most of these information are not geared towards Yes, mm-hmm. that's probably for the Western world. Yeah. It makes it a bit difficult to probably be able to relate with such information in the rest. So it's sometimes a bit, it's still a bit challenging, mm-hmm. but it's much better now than it used to be so sometimes. It can get better as the years. Yes, 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 it can. And I think I've, um, in recent times, I've seen a lot of initiatives by the government, like in mm-hmm. terms of supporting young people yeah. with businesses and the rest. And I think it's a good thing. It's actually the way to go. So that in some years to come, we have a lot of young entrepreneurs in our country coming up with um, solutions, solving real problems, mm-hmm. just like you guys came yeah. out. Yeah, so we want to see more of that. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually really hopeful and looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. Any more questions? <laughs> you should be in <laughs> Okay. Um, <clears throat> what else again do I have one to ask you? Maybe you should tell me what I should ask you then, because I'm still <laughs> like, I haven't gotten over seeing it. Are you serious? Yeah. And it's, yeah, it feels actually cool. For the yeah. first time, hanging out with her. Uh, somebody who... You fun. Yes. And yeah, so, yeah. You guys should permit me. I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> anyway. You know, I should be speechless because I'm with a YouTube sensation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad, like, you know, meeting you. I mean, I never thought I'd meet you. I just spoke to a friend. I was actually encouraging my friend to watch your video. Oh, and he was like, wait. and he was like, wait, who are you talking about? I mentioned your name, like Ishmael Lamti. He does very good videos. You should follow him and see how he does his videos. And he's like, oh, Ishmael, I know him. He's my classmate. <laughs> so I'm like, what? Very you, small. Ishmael is a classmate. He's like, yeah, I know him. So I can call him right now. I'm like, whoa. I mean, this is surreal. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. it's, it's, it's all good, I, I must say, and we live in a very small world, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing, it's interesting to know, like, stuff like this happening in the rest. Yeah. So, guys, um, it looks like we've, we've had a very lengthy conversation and we actually don't even know what to come <laughs> out more, but it's, it's, it's all good, I, I must say, and going forward, I think this is one of the things I, I personally would want to be having on my channel, like, featuring, um, should I say, fans and having conversation about so many things and to make this whole YouTube thing a very interesting one, not just always me, my face comes to mm-hmm. and talk about whatever I want to talk about and just walk away. So this is my guest Zoe and I must say it's been an like, interesting conversation we've had here. Yeah. I've actually gotten to know a lot more I didn't know about her and I'll be, you know, um, getting to know more as well as I um, look forward to probably a video about the tricycle ambulance you're talking yes, about. Yes. Actually, it's one thing I would want to document and share it to everybody so that they get yeah, to see it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, any more thing you want to share? 
Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess um, we have to bring the video to an end. Um, thank you very, very much for sticking around and watching through to the end. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you very much. So, any final words you want to say? Please subscribe. Please subscribe to this channel. <laughs> that is very important. Please subscribe and like and share. Share with your friends. Leave a comment. <laughs> oh, that's that's uh, that's very very important. Yeah. Kindly try to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet, and look forward to more awesome content coming your way. What do you want people to reach you? Uh, on social media or anything or you just want to keep um, it I'm Zoe Sawa on Instagram. Okay. Zoe Sawa on Facebook as well. Okay. Zoe underscore Sawa. Okay. So Zoe Sawa, Instagram and Facebook. You want to, you know, reach out to it, get to know some of the amazing things she's been doing. Mm -hmm. Alright. So thank you very much for watching and bye bye for now. Bye. <laughs>